you know, like all my, I, I, my whole record was violence. This grand jury has been receiving evidence for months and has determined there is sufficient evidence to justify the filing of this criminal indictment. You won't believe what's happening in the world of hip hop drama. Keith D, the man tied to the infamous assassination of Shakur, is back in the spotlight and it's messier than ever. Rumor has it, WAC 100 tried to bail him out with money that's as shady as it gets thinks substance deals and tax evasion. And that's just the beginning. Word on the street is that WAC might be on the run after a shocking arrest warrant was issued. Is he dodging the law or is there more to this twisted tale? Stick around to uncover all the jaw-dropping details and the explosive jail calls that have everyone talking. This is one video you don't want to miss. As the story unfolds, the drama surrounding Keith D's involvement in Shakur's assassination continues to captivate the public's attention. Keith D, whose real name is Dwayne Davis, found himself back in the spotlight after being indicted for orchestrating the infamous drive by shooting that took the life of the legendary rapper in 1996. Well, it's a, a cold case. It's been uh, lingering for 27 years. For years, fans and law enforcement alike have been chasing the truth behind Shakur's assassination, and Keith D's own words have seemingly provided the missing pieces. The self-proclaimed shot caller of the Southside Crips has never shied away from discussing his alleged role in the crime, whether in his memoir Compton Street Legend or in various interviews. It has taken countless hours, really decades, of work by the men and women of our homicide section to get to where we are today. Interestingly enough, it was Keith D's own admissions that ultimately led to his downfall. Retired LAPD detective Greg Kading, who had long been involved in the case, pointed out that Davis essentially self-snitched his way into an arrest. He seemed to think he had some type of immunity, Kading noted, but that was not the case. He just kept talking and talking, providing all the evidence we needed to secure a prosecution. The grand jury indicted Davis, and he now faces charges of assassination with a deadly weapon, coupled with a sentencing enhancement for gang activity. In a shocking twist, WAC 100, a well-known figure in the hip-hop industry, attempted to post bail for Keith D. WAC 100, whose real name is Cash Jones, has a reputation for stirring controversy and making bold moves. <laughs> Keith D. got a bail. He's supposed to be home. <laughs> That's up to law He's supposed to be right. home in the next month. I've been thinking about going to Belly Mouth. You gonna bail out Keith D. Yeah, it's only 75000 His involvement in this case is no exception. Jones appeared in court, ready to post a substantial portion of the $750,000 bail set for Davis. However, the judge and prosecutors were quick to question the legitimacy of the funds. Could it be that WAC 100 was using money from shady dealings, possibly linked to substance deals or tax evasion, to bail out Davis? That day I went on the run for the first time. I got my first job in the in the game, which did which I wasn't selling. I got fired. My brother fired me. The court skepticism only grew as prosecutors played a jailhouse phone call between Davis and WAC 100. In the call, Jones proposed creating a television series about Davis's life, including episodes detailing his role in Shakur's assassination. This led to suspicions that the bail money was tied to a commercial exploitation deal. Judge Carly Kearney expressed doubts about the source of the funds, emphasizing the need for transparency and legality. I don't really see where the actual $112,500 came from with what's been provided, she argued. This scrutiny led to the revocation of the bail offer, leaving Keith D's fate hanging in the balance. Well, so, I mean, pretty much in this situation on WAC, I mean, I don't see what his defense would be. There is no, there, there isn't one. <laughs> what no one expected was the subsequent investigation into WAC 100 himself. The judge ordered a deeper look into where Jones got the money, suspecting illicit sources. This led to an arrest warrant being issued for WAC 100, sending shockwaves through the hip hop community. The once vocal and ever-present Jones suddenly went silent. Journalists who once found him willing to speak on any topic now faced a brick wall. A source close to Jones revealed, no one has heard from him in days. It's like he vanished into thin air. This leads us to the question, what could WAC 100 be hiding? Could it be that his involvement in Keith D's bail was just the tip of the iceberg? Speculations run wild as fans and critics alike try to piece together the puzzle. One insider hinted at deeper connections, suggesting there's more to this story. WAC 100 has always been involved in some shady business, but this time, he might have bitten off more than he can chew. As the investigation into WAC 100's finances continues, the public's interest in Keith D's trial only intensifies. The courtroom drama is set against a backdrop of health concerns and desperate pleas. Davis, now in his 60s and having battled cancer, 
argues that his deteriorating health necessitates house arrest. Sir, are you familiar with the one charge that you're facing? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that charge? Yes, ma'am. As to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. He claims that the jail's inadequate food and health care are life-threatening given his condition. However, prosecutors remain firm, citing his history of admissions and the danger he poses to the community. Well, he's no different than any other defendant. I mean, we had a feeling this day was coming in the recent uh, history. The saga doesn't end there. The judge's decision to withhold a final ruling on the bail until clearer evidence of the money's source is provided keeps everyone on edge. Davis's defense team faces an uphill battle, not only proving his innocence but also disentangling the complex web of financial dealings surrounding his bail. Meanwhile, WAC 100's mysterious disappearance only adds fuel to the fire, leaving everyone wondering what his next move will be. The tension is palpable as fans of Shakur, followers of hip-hop drama, and curious onlookers await the next development in this unfolding saga. Will Keith D finally face justice for his alleged role in Shakur's assassination? Or will the legal system once again find itself entangled in the murky world of gang affiliations and hidden agendas? Certainly Mr. Davis will have his opportunity to present whatever evidence uh, he wishes to. In a world where conflict sells and every new detail sparks a flurry of speculation, the story of Shakur's assassination and the recent developments with Keith D and WAC 100 continue to grip the public's imagination. The search for justice for Shakur has been a long and winding road, marked by false starts and elusive answers. But with each new revelation, the hope for closure grows stronger. What remains clear is that the legacy of Shakur is as enduring as ever. His music, his message, and his untimely demise have left an indelible mark on the world. As the legal battles rage on, fans remain committed to honoring his memory and seeking the truth. And as for Keith D and WAC 100, their fates are now inextricably linked to one of the most iconic and tragic stories in hip-hop history. Finally, consider this intriguing fan theory that's gaining traction Diddy might be the mastermind behind the money WAC 100 attempted to use for Keith D's bail. The speculation suggests that Diddy, using WAC as an intermediary, is trying to secure Keith's release to prevent him from revealing more damaging information. What's currently known about Diddy's connection to Shakur's assassination? Let's delve into the details. Puffy, if I'm not mistaken, Puffy, he approached you on three different occasions, right? About pitting the hit on Tupac and Shook. Interestingly enough, former LAPD detective Greg Kading claims that Diddy, the Bad Boy Records founder, ordered a $1 million hit on Shakur and Shoot Knight. This allegation has been floating around for years, but recently gained renewed attention with Keith D's arrest. Keith D himself has repeatedly stated that Diddy asked him to take out Pac and Shub Knight in a series of shocking revelations. Keith D claimed that during a meeting at a hotel room during a summer jam tour in 1995, Diddy allegedly offered $1 million to a room full of crips to eliminate Shakur and Shub Knight. Puffy, you and Puffy was hanging out one day and he might wasn't serious about it, but he was floating in the air. He made it. One insider revealed Diddy was terrified of Shub Knight. There was a lot of animosity and fear between the East Coast Bad Boy Records and the West Coast Death Row Records. These claims are supported by another former gangster, James McDonald, who recalled everyone had a price on their head at that time. It was a war zone and Diddy had to protect his interests. As Keith D's trial approaches, the theory that WAC 100's bail money might actually be coming from Diddy to keep Keith D silent becomes more plausible. Could it be that Diddy, fearing Keith D might spill more details under the pressure of a trial, decided to use WAC 100 as a front to ensure Keith's silence? This speculation gains more weight considering Diddy's notorious ability to distance himself from direct involvement in illegal activities, always keeping his hands clean while others did his dirty work. Well, Puffy's aware that the FBI's been watching him. Adding another layer to this convoluted narrative, former FBI agent Phil Carson suggested that Keith D might be cooperating with authorities to save himself from a life sentence. Carson remarked, Keith's arrested, and that's a game changer. He might start spilling his guts. He's an OG who's rubbed shoulders with big shots. Every one of those guys has stories about how the streets were run back then. Could Keith D be ready to reveal everything about Diddy's alleged involvement to cut a deal with the prosecution? That uh, this is the end of the of the Diddy story as we know it. Further complicating matters, recent trafficking raids on Diddy's mansions have sparked rumors of a broader conspiracy. Some believe these raids might be linked to his past crimes, including the assassination of Shakur. An insider alleged other people carried out acts for him and he kept his hands clean. With these raids, questions arise as the law finally catching up with Diddy. Are these trafficking accusations just the tip of the iceberg in uncovering Diddy's criminal empire? 
Keith D's accusations against Diddy are not new. In his book, Compton Street legend Keith D detailed a conversation where Diddy allegedly said, I have a couple of problems I need to be handled. Big CEO Shug Knight and Shakur. Keith D claimed he responded, that's not a problem. We can make that happen. The former gangster's detailed account of this conversation paints a chilling picture of the lengths to which Diddy was willing to go to protect his empire and eliminate threats. If I wouldn't have never met him, I wouldn't have never been involved in this You know what I'm saying? The tangled web of deception, fear, and assassination continues to unravel, with fans and the public anxiously awaiting the next twist in this gripping story. As more details emerge, the hope for justice for Shakur seems within reach. However, the complex interplay of gang affiliations, hidden agendas, and powerful figures like Diddy ensures that the truth may remain elusive for a while longer. As we wrap up this explosive dive into the tangled web of Shakur's assassination, Keith D's shocking admissions, and WAC 100's mysterious maneuvers, we're left with more questions than answers. Could WAC 100's attempted bail money really be tied to Diddy, aiming to silence Keith D for good? And what secrets might WAC 100 himself be hiding as he seemingly vanishes from the public eye? We want to hear your thoughts. Do you think Diddy has a deeper involvement in Shakur's demise than previously believed? Leave your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this unfolding saga. Until next time, stay tuned and keep questioning.